In this episode of Watching the Watchers, we're talking about Phoenix police officer Tim Marie Murphy. If you or somebody you know or love has been stopped, cited, or arrested by Officer Tim Marie Murphy with the Phoenix Police Department, you're going to want to pay closer attention to this video. So, the reason we started Watching the Watchers is because over the course of representing literally thousands of people in criminal cases, we have found that when there is police misconduct that happens, when an officer is involved in a crime or a policy violation, the police department and the prosecuting agency, they don't want to tell us about it. They don't want to tell the defense lawyers, they don't want the defendant to know about it, and they come up with a bunch of different excuses as to why they don't have to tell us. They'll say, well, the case against this officer is still pending, or the officer hasn't exhausted their appeals yet, or quite frankly, that they just don't think that they have to tell us because this officer's conduct doesn't rise to the level of what is called Brady material or exculpatory material, so they just won't tell us. That's their conclusion. They're making the determination that they don't think it's Brady material, which is a Supreme Court case. We think it is. We think that it should be disclosed to us. And so if they're not going to tell you about it or they're not going to tell us about it, when we come across it, we're going to make it known. We're going to let you know about it so that if you or somebody you know or love has been stopped and cited by an officer who was involved in misconduct, you can use that in your case. You can take it to your defense lawyer and get a better outcome, get a better result. That's the reason why we do it. Now let's dive into the meat and potatoes here with Officer Tim Marie Murphy. So this is an interesting case. This was an officer who was uh, suspended from the Phoenix Police Department for completing a, an against policy body cavity search. So this article comes from, comes from the Arizona Republic. It was written by Uriel Garcia, published on July 31st of 2019. It says Phoenix police officers body cav cavity search was inappropriate. The investigation finds it says that essentially there was a woman who was under investigation for being part of a drug uh, operation. She was arrested. She was taken into custody. Officer Tim Marie Murphy searched her in her entire person. And when they could not find anything, it did a full body cavity search. That means you go into the cavity of the body. You go into uh, the, the different private parts that you don't talk about. So the reason why this was a big deal, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is there's a lawsuit that's being filed against the city of Phoenix. The lawyer that uh, miss, uh, the, 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 per, the, the person who was the subject of the illegal cavity search, it, the, the attorney for that individual is requesting $12.5 million, saying that this essentially amounted to a sexual assault that the officer should not have done it. The Phoenix Police Department policy, which was pulled by the Phoenix New Times, says here, you can see a copy of the actual policy. You can see there that it says that strip searches under their subsection D, it says physical intrusion will only be conducted by virtue of a search warrant or by consent of the suspect and then only by a medical doctor. So the officer had no authority to go in there and do a cavity search, to go into somebody's anus and actually search for drugs. It was totally against Phoenix Police Department policy. The reason why this is important is because this officer violated Phoenix policy in this particular case. Now, if, a, if an officer is inclined to violate policy in something like this, something so serious like this, who's to say that the officer didn't violate policy in your case or somebody you know or love, in your DUI case, in your domestic violence case, in your whatever case, if the officer is willing to break policy here and do it basically flagrantly, Who's to say that the officer didn't do it in your case? So it's important that this stuff is called to your attention. Now, I don't have a file photo for this particular police officer, so this was the best that we can do, but it is still important that you understand uh, that the Phoenix Police Department has this issue going on. So if you know somebody who was stopped or cited by Officer Tim Marie Murphy, this is going to be an issue that you're going to want to bring up in your case because it's indicative that the officer's integrity may be, be able to be called into question. They violate policy here. It's likely that they're violating policy in other cases, especially if they're less egregious. So that's at least an argument that, the, that a defense attorney can make. We think this information should be available so that we can make those arguments. I don't know if the prosecutor is going to disclose this information in your particular case, but if they don't, you heard it here. Officer Tim Marie Murphy is currently uh, involved in this entire situation as the subject of a $12.5 million lawsuit. Now, to the Phoenix Police Department's credit, the article does say that she was suspended as a result of it. 
unclear as to whether or not this is going to amount to something that actually does constitute sexual assault or rises to that level. Certainly, if it does, we'll be sure to let you know. But if you or somebody you know or love has been cited, stopped, arrested by Officer Tim Marie Murphy, make sure you give our office a call. As I said, a situation like this can be a big game changer in your case. So we want to make sure that you understand how that will work and what we can do to help. Give our office a call. We offer free case evaluations. We'll have you come in. We'll sit down. We'll review the facts of your case specifically. We'll see if we can use this to our advantage to get you the best result possible. As I said, absolutely free case evaluation. You've got nothing to lose just by giving us a call. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks for watching. <music>